morning mission. Stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we ask you to bless all the mothers and those who, in various ways, fulfill a mother's role. Give them your love, that they may love those entrusted to them with the love which only they, as a mother, can give. Give them your strength, that they may never weary of the demanding role that is theirs, always ready to support, advise, and encourage those who are so precious to them. Give them your warmth, that they may eradicate to their children the human and divine qualities of compassion, understanding, patience, and kindness. Above all, give them your joy and peace, that they may always know the special place they have in our hearts. May these special people who give so much to others, so unselfishly and generously, know that you are them always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors and AP tests. If you're a senior and if you took an AP exam this week, and if you want to designate a college to receive your scores, Please see Diane Wilsden ASAP by the end of Friday. You can either see her in her classroom or email her. Glean the last glean of the school year this Saturday, May 12th. Sign up on the sheet on the campus ministry door. Service hour opportunity for anyone interested in babysitting on Wednesday, May 23rd in the gym from 5.30 to 9 p.m. for the faculty staff end of the year dinner. Will, dinner will be provided. Please see Miss Beckett in room 313 to sign up. Student choice, all students, we have our last gospel assembly and student choice for this year on Monday. We'll start in the gym for the gospel at 9.15 and break for student choice at 10.15. Go to FAST and sign up for your last student choice of the year. Drama Club, we have a meeting tomorrow, Friday, at lunch in the pack for our officer election. MCP Physical Night, Wednesday, May 16th from 6 to 8, MCP Gym. All MCP student-athletes must possess a current physical on file in order to play sports this summer and in the 2018-2019 academic year. Student-athletes without a physical on file will not be permitted to practice or participate with the team until completed. Families will be helped on the first-come, first-served basis. All physical forms must be a parent signature before the exam can take place. You can pick up a form outside the athletic director's office beforehand or at the event on the 16th. There is a fee of $25 due to the time of the exam, payable with check or cash only. Prom, Moonlight Masquerade, Saturday, May 19th, The Rock, 8 to 10 p.m., door closes at 8.30. The bargain basement discount prices of $10 for a single ticket and 15 for a couple are good until Monday. And then on Tuesday, prom ticket prices will increase to $20 for a single ticket and $30 for a couple. Buy tickets quickly for the best price. Battle of the Bands is happening on mo Monday, May 21st at 6.30. Go to Battle of the Bands to raise money for Jack's Helping Hand. Students should bring their ID card for easy collection of spirit points. Here's a promo on Battle of the Bands. <laughs> Welcome to Behind the Music. This is a seven-part series on the legendary MCP faculty band, The Keepers. Today, we will focus on guitar, piano, and vocalist, Gwen Crossa. So Gwen, tell us about your time uh, before you joined The Keepers. Yeah, well, you know, I got my start um, in a band in the 80s called Blondie. I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Debbie, Harry, and I, we met in high school and started jamming together. So, Gwen, what happened? Well, you know, things were going great with our band, uh, but we were hanging out at our house one day and I stumbled across a box of L'Oreal 
hair coloring. And I realized that Debbie Hep Perry was bleaching her hair. And, well, it was a little bit of a riff. Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. My next guest is a founding member of the band Blondie. Welcome, please, Deborah Harry. Now, they, they did. They, the gentleman up there mentioned that he thought you were blonde, and quite obviously, you're auburned colored yes, hair tonight. I was blonde. Yeah. And, and, and is this, what would be the actual color of your hair? Is this it? Maybe this is it. This is it, isn't it? Close. Yeah. So, we had a little party in the ways, and, um, and, you know, it was a little rough for a while, but I guess it worked out great because, you know, I went back to college. I decided that, you know, I wanted to do more than be in a rock band, and I went back to college, and I, I got a job at, at uh, Mission Prep, and now I'm part of the Keepers. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, you know, blonde, brunette, red hair, pink, Whatever color hair Debbie has, I just want her to know that I still love her. The baseball team made a dramatic finish to yesterday's senior night. Kai Zenowitz pitched seven innings, only giving up one run. Nick Pimentel hit a two-run doubles in the bottom of the sixth to put Royals ahead 2-1. to one. The Royals play at pass on Friday, needing only one win to reach playoffs. Good luck, Royals. Also, we have softball home game today at Meadow Park at 4.30 against Paso. It's the last game of the season, and come support Megan, the only senior for the senior night. That's it for today. Bye, Mission. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down.